Fit like a bee, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of NIMBY Rail slash Transport Fever. So in the last episode we built our line, Trans Pennine line, down to Newcastle upon Tyne, leaving from Edinburgh. And then I added this little bit here. So this is Glasgow down to air, and it's being currently run by two class 156s as printers that are in, supposed to be really in sort of SPT livery but you can't really see it. There is two there. I have like painted them uh, the sort of the the dark sort of maroon red and the sort of cream colour but I've just made the line red. So it currently goes now it's going through Glasgow just now and there's lots of stations in Glasgow but these are done by central lines up until about Glen oh, up until Dalry. And then they head into Glasgow. This train actually leaves Glasgow Central and doesn't stop until it gets to Kilwinning. So it gets to Kilwinning, that's the first stop. And then Irving. And then this one is Barassi, Troon. Uh, and then it stops at Prestwick International Airport, which is really nice. Because we're going to add an airport in Glasgow and we're going to have the train stop there. And then head down to air afterwards and then it goes to Newton on air and then it comes down here right to the coast uh, for air. There is lines that continue down here to like Stranraer and Dumfries and I think one actually peels off and then goes to Carlisle. I'm not sure though. I will have to check. It would be interesting if it did. Uh, I mean if I go and look at Carlisle right now on the old Googly maps. What does it say? So, yep. Yeah. So there is a Caledonian. The Caledonian sleeper west coast variant goes past here. There are northern trains, Scott Rail trains, and Avanti West Coast. So I may do a line that goes from Ayr uh, down to Carlisle that comes all the way across and goes to Dumfries and then goes to Carlisle. Uh, I might make it an electrified SPT train. Uh, we'll just have to sort of wait and see. Now, on this map, they leave from Glasgow Central. On our Transport Fever map, they are going to leave uh, Glasgow Queen Street because I can't get the angle to come back. But you'll see that in, uh, in just a minute. But in the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be working my way down here to Carlisle and I want to build the line that goes across uh, from Carlisle to Newcastle upon Tyne and get a, a northern train sort of running between there. That would be uh, that'd be kind of cool. So I want to do that. Everything up here is done. We're heading south now. It is going to take me a long time to build this line all the way down to London Town. Uh, there's also the lines that go out to Norwich, Hull, the stuff that goes down to Manchester, Liverpool, stuff in Wales, all the stuff to the south. And I need to build up Paris and get an airport in there and we'll start making some some actual flights but yeah there are a lot of lines in between here lots and lots of trains running to different places same in glasgow and edinburgh there are like four different uh trains that go from glasgow to edinburgh uh, via like places like airdrie and like the north of livingston and then down here through different parts of falkirk and etc but we are going to concentrate on this today we'll get the airport in and then we will get the trains in so we'll head over to the transport fever map now. So here we are back on the transport fever map. Following our little trans Pennine train, our little turbo star as it heads to Edinburgh, but we will be move oh excuse me, moving over to Glasgow. And then the first thing we want to do is really get an airport in. Ooh, this road is beautiful. I'm going to upgrade it on that one on that one on this one medium roads only please right push pause for the moment because we'll head over there uh, so we've got the Edinburgh airport in uh, we'll, we'll fire in uh, Prestwick International Airport so it's a decent airport Prestwick it's right on like the west coast so there's a lot of flights head out to America etc etc and the airport needs to go in here, right? How humongous, how huge, humongously huge, humongously huge is this going to be? 
Passenger airport. Standard. Whoa. It almost fits in. Almost. Uh, spinning it round the other way is not going to help. Okay. Spinning it round that way will help slightly. Right. What I want to do is I actually want to delete all this. So this can go away uh, presently. I want to see if I can squeeze this in here. So I do want the the actual terminal to be at that side. Now this is good. So far so good. Uh, bring it up to about there. Right, we're going to have to delete more of Glasgow. So I'll bring this back and I'll bring this back as well. And I want to see if I can get it in here yeah so the train is gonna come round maybe take it further down I don't really want to fill in that area because I'm gonna need roads and stuff that come out of this how far can I push this along right right there excellent now uh, the train station is probably gonna have to go over this side but that's no big deal it hopefully should still be in range uh, right so now I can build this back again I want this road along here right as close to the airport as possible bring that bring that out curved yep and then bring this down and join that up to there and then we could possibly bring this road out again and bring that up to there because I'm going to put the bus station in there and I want the main road to continue along and go across and into here okay but first of all uh, I want to make this quite a large airport it's going to have several destinations maybe some of these cool high capacity Terminals would be kind of nice. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Now, there's a weird, great, a weird gap there. That's stupid. Uh, yeah, there's lots of different high capacity buildings. That's good. Uh, yep, yeah, that one and that one. Now, do I leave a hangar here? Possibly. I'll maybe delete this one and delete that and go with this and that okay and then we'll have the planes come from a hangar somewhere uh, not entirely sure where but this should be fine for the moment now the train is going to come out here and come down here so the train station is going to be over here is this going to be in range of our airport that's what we want to sort of that's what we sort of want to know presently. So I'll get a little train station in here. Now I'm going to make it a new train station and we're going to give it two platforms. 160 should be absolutely fine. Uh, spin it around. Right, so it does reach the airport roughly sort of about there. Right, when do you stop becoming an airport train station? Uh, roughly about there yeah okay so about there so this is gonna have to be quite a wild uh, turnaround really I have noticed that it is catanaried am I bothered about that presently maybe maybe then I want you to come over this way yeah maybe not bridge like straight away it is heading down what happens if you go flat right go flat to start with and then head around this way uh, 36 miles per hour because it would slowing down to go into the station so that's fine I don't want it at such a wild angle maybe place it there right and then I can get it round here so it's not gonna be going to be a particularly fast train at least not in this section and I'm happy to keep the stone arch bridge as well All right and then pull this round 
I meant there. Okay, that is one section pretty much done and dusted. Now we will go around and smooth it. Uh, I mean, if I click on that, right? So there's the airport. This comes down here, and that is not in range. This says it's in range. It sort of stops here though, so I'm kind of kind of weary if this is actually in range. Everything here is highlighted, right? So that would lead me to believe that yes, the airport is in range. But if I click on the actual airport, yeah, that's in range too, because it's highlighted in white. Okay, yay. Right, continue. Now, I do want these tracks to go down uh, sort of beside the, the river the river bank, the Clyde bank. And now I want it to go under here. Oh, oh. Now that looks kind of okay, actually. And then this one round there. And then I want this to come up. Now, I don't know where this is going to go. I, I did want... Uh, now, I was, I was potentially going to do that line to the south that went into Carlisle. Like, past here, and then maybe take it round. Seems a bit odd. Yeah, well, maybe that idea will... Uh, Will be next because I wanted to, there's SPT trains, uh, electrical and diesel trains. I kind of wanted to use them uh, both. Now, a slight bit of airshare here is about to take a little hit. Uh, no, I want it to go up this way. Keep it flat. Right, so that is gone. That's okay. And then I want a little train station in here. Maybe a UK tracks to building size. I'll maybe make it one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then platform length, I'm going to make it 120. And I would like it to go in here. Right, so a lot of things are going to be demolished there. That's okay. Again, this has got catenary, so I may have to... I just I keep forgetting to switch catenary off. It's one of my fatal flaws. And then when I go to build uh, electrified lines, I keep forgetting to switch it on. Yay me. Now, it looks like air is growing. That is nice. We just need to check its growth and make sure it's not growing anywhere we don't want it to. Now, this looks like it's going to give me tunnel all the way. Uh, that's okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to push it high enough. To get uh, it to come above the land so tunnel it is that's unfortunate but hey ho right so this is done pretty much now will you give me a diamond underneath this tunnel okay it hates it absolutely hates too much curvature, construction is not possible. Will you give me it through then? No, it hates that as well. Because <laughs> I need a diamond in here. Uh, okay, same as before, right? So delete the tunnel. Sayonara. Uh, and then do this, right? So bring that. If I do that, yeah, push the tunnel further out the way. Right, this gives you clean section here, which it will absolutely build the diamond on. Because I've tried and tested this, we know this works. Uh, and get the signals in here. Right, that's for a gantry. Yeah, you there, you there, you that side. Uh, we shall come back and flatten that in just a minute. One and a trois. And then another one here. Alright, I might have to try and smooth that section a bit. One there, and then I'll maybe do another one 
like the other side of the bridge here and then we'll get our diamond going into Glasgow and then we shall do a touch of smoothing so there's a couple of trains here already the ones that head up the northwest coast so one there yes and I am gonna have to release this from a depot somewhere uh, yep you there and you oh you there unlucky you just just missed the cut there all right go there now I can't put them further down because this is technically classed as uh, part of the platform we are getting that weird station bug where it won't actually let me place platforms in here I think I need to use standard rail right now I've got like the the UK rail although this kind of looks like just standard in-game rail kinda right smooth this out and there it goes let's move that out there yeah we're gonna have to absolutely do uh, this side and then a bit smoothing over here I mean I could get like a little taxi stand or something in there there is gonna be a bus though that heads through here and it's, this the bus is gonna go over the top and down in here some way somehow right so that looks pretty good so our line is basically basically done there's a few roads here that are not of an appropriate nature so we'll upgrade them we've left this one here and designated it as mine now i want a little bus stop in here as well so buildings uh, I like this one a lot. I know it's more on, of an, uh, an American sort of bus stop. But yeah, I'd like this to go. Oh, not that way. It's going to have to go like in there and in there. Mm, that's okay. Yeah, that's fine actually. And then we'll have the bus route go around. Now, did this just happen? literally as I placed that and reverted back to old okay that's weird <laughs> right we'll get a couple of bus stops around uh, we'll get the train on the go as well so we want this to go on that side there now we'll just make it a little bus stop we'll have it stop at the large one and then we'll have some intercity buses rolling from a uh, yeah or maybe oh, there's no road down there okay so you have to go down there and then come up this way which isn't too bad actually now we'll get the commuter bus to go around through here and we'll get an intercity bus that goes uh, around as well now streets I want this please let's make it curved uh, yeah, we'll have that come in that way and then go over. It is still trying to go up like a, like a fair amount. And then go down. So this should be a nice scenic route through the trees. Now, I am going to want to possibly bridge over this, right, so bring that out to there, almost, it almost gave us a bridge, now it did give us a bridge, but not something as wild as that, maybe this, I've not used this in a long time, yeah it looks pretty decent, then we need to get another bus station in here. Uh, which is going to go at this side now i'd like this one to be maybe a larger bus station i like this one a lot but uh i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna refrain from using it presently because it's it's really 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 large maybe one of these ones what else have we got over here 
Yeah, maybe this for the moment. Now we are going to have a commuter bus that rolls around here. And it is going to be in the main road and I'm expecting this main road here that I've rebuilt to uh, to become quite busy. But that is in range of the station so that is fine. Now before we start, let's get the cars and make all this. Mine, 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 mine. Also mine, yep that as well, that as well, that as well. Don't want it growing out here past the airport. So do it at least up to there. Now I need to do the same at the air side because the game will try and claim the road as its own and it's going to try and build out here. This I am one billion million trillion gazillion quadrillion percent sure of. Right, come out of there, smooth out this section. Whoops, smooth out this section. So it's not as wild as it currently is. Right, now we need a commuter bus here, which we shall get uh, imminently. We actually also need a depot. That's something we're going to have to purchase, and then we're going to need a depot for the train. Now, air is trying to grow out uh, this way, as you can see right here. Now, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to, no, don't delete that, just delete that little teeny tiny section of road. Hello? Why do you elude me? Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, we lost an industry though. Oh well. Such is life. Uh, yeah. You go flat. Get me a building. A depot. A garage. Maybe get like a little McDonald's or something. Where it is? The little McDonald's. Or can you even get the little McDonald's a car park? Maybe like an underground car park? Seems a bit strange to have out here, but it's something different. Yeah, you can park your car into the side of the mountain. Excellent. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but hey ho. Uh, right, let's go buy vehicles. And. I want a lion. I want a. An intercity bus two. Where is intercity bus one? I might use some of the Riva stuff. Maybe not. I might just use this. This one will be perfect for when the time comes. We need to actually do the route around here. So new line uh, one two three make sure you go to the bus stop there and not the the other stop but we'll make this yellow and we will change this up to stagecoach air calm one please right we can get that bus running i'm just going to put on one of the stagecoach pink park and ride buses uh go to Passage, head down, there it is, buy that, set its maintenance for high, apply, and set you on stagecoach, aircom one, there we go, right, so that can head round and start picking people up, uh, we'll do the train line next, so we want this, we want to go there, air transfer. Prestwick International Airport is apparently Glasgow West, which is fine. And then head round to there on the way back. And it doesn't split off. Why do you not split off? Because you're trying to go into Glasgow on a different route. There we go, we've therefore made it impossible to do so. So, this will be SPT 
Glasgow to yeah. I was gonna do via via Preston Airport, but I'm just gonna leave it because I think it's gonna be too long. A Y R Glastia Strathclyde something transport. Can't remember. Now this road is gonna get super busy, and I'm kind of worried that that is going to be a thing that is going to happen. I need to release the train though. And I think actually maybe over here would be good or or maybe just get a one time depot and at this side I think that might be easier. So give me tracks. This is going to look dodgy as hell. It's, it's way higher. Uh, so it will actually just be a one time depot. We'll delete it immediately as soon as the train leaves. Uh, get me that. Place you on there. That is perfect. And buy vehicles. Uh, now we want to go down here to diesel multiple units. And we want to go up. Or we want to go down. I want these. So in here is, oh no, it's gone. Okay, try the 150-2s. I know there is definitely one in here. Yeah, it's Strathclyde, this is the one I want. 150-2. I'll just check, right, that there ain't any. Northern Rail, that's nice. Uh, provincial, that's nice. Definitely not in here. Yeah, there's the Northern Rail stuff. Southwestern Rail, Northern by Arriva, SCR, Connect. Yeah, so they've actually gone. Which makes sense because in real life, it's Scott Rail who have taken over this this line. And this is C2C. What is C2C? Coast to coast? Or like something like Cheltenham or. Chilton, uh, whatever rail. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. Right, this one will be fine, right? But what we'll do is go out there, go back to 2019, right? Yeah, go away. Uh, not the station, that's stupid go in here right and if I go back up to these ones the 156's or the 158's no so it's even further back okay Northern Gracie Fields yes we will have to go with these that's okay right remove it Remove it. Go back up to 2021. Remove that. Excellent. Right. So set you on your line. Oh, did I not buy it? Possibly not. It does seem like something I could do. Now there's this one or there's this one. I like this one. Uh, add that. Buy that. Set it on a line. SPT. Glasgow and Glasgow to ER. Right, I'm going to three times speed it because I want this to come out so I can delete this awfulness that is here. Look at it. Whoa. Right, push play again. Uh, remove it. No. Just that. And that. And that. And that. Delete. Okay, so that train is in the 150. We can change it in NIMBY Rails to a 150. There's no, there's no big deal with that SPT rail. How many people do you hold? 62 is probably fine. I don't think there's going to be any more than that. We can jump on it though, on its inaugural first journey. Right there it is. Semaphore is like green, and off it goes. 
wrote Scott Rail and Strathclyde Passenger Transport Executive. Is that what SPT stands for? Now this one says Glasgow on it. Which makes sense. Because at some point it will be going back there. Yeah, so round to the, the airport. Now obviously there's nothing going on at the airport and I may I may do an episode setting up some plane lines and stuff. But yeah, that is totally fine. Right, off you go. Now the bus station. The bus station. Now we're gonna have to add other stuff that heads out here. This part here is looking particularly horrific because people are trying to get across to the other side to go on to that. Now I could build them a bypass. Alas, they will not use it. They're not going to use any sort of bypass that I create. Now I want this to end here and I don't want anything else being built in there. And in fact, what I'll do is I shall take some 75 mile an hour tracks and pop them out this way. Pop them out this way. There we go. Right, we've got our trucks going round. I might have to bus lane some of this because it looks like some of the buses are getting trapped in the old. Uh, what about the intercity bus? One of 11. That's interesting. <laughs> no one wants to use the intercity bus. Is there anyone at Central? Glasgow Central? Uh, a couple of people. Alright, but yeah, we want uh, a new line. Right. So we want to go from here, from this station. We want to stop there. And then, I think I'll have it stop at this one first and then I'm gonna have it go up to this one and then it can go back around but this is an inner city bus so it should be painted in that color and this will be National Express we'll say Glasgow to or we'll, we'll shorten it Glass to air ITCB. Excellent. Now, one thing I did not do is National Express Glasgow to air. Right, after it goes through that, I want you to head back through that. And that will basically be, I think, the bus route to the train station. I don't think I'm going to make it any more complicated than that. I want these things. Yes. Intercity bus 2. Perfect. Bye. Set you on a line. Yeah. Set you. Why is it still giving me tooltips? I've got like a thousand hours in this game. National Express. Where are you? Why is that stagecoach? Ah, because that's an intercity bus. Uh, Express Highland, Intercity, National Express, Glasgow, yeah. ITCB. Let's have a look at this thing. Ooh, did that weird. Ooh, you drove through the, the pillars there, and they're made like a they're solid concrete. They are impassable by vehicle. Unless you seriously want to rearrange the front of your car, it's a man bus, and it's heading for Glasgow branch. This thing is, these things are pretty perfect. They're unbranded, but they're pretty good. I do like the intercity buses. They are very nice. Uh, right. So you are going to there first. I wonder if this will go here first. And if it does, it will have to go all the way around. No, it did not. Anyone in here? Zero of forty for the old Parketh ride. And then that bus can head out. Right, what other bus routes do I need? I need one that goes from Glasgow to Perth. 
and I need one that goes from Edinburgh to Perth and I'd also like one to go down the coast to Newcastle. Now we've got our new stuff up and running. I am going to have to fix this traffic issue. I don't know how I'm going to fix this traffic issue. Where are you having major malfunctions? Probably about here is real bad. And then they sort of go over this way. I mean, there are several tunnels in Glasgow. Several tunnels in Glasgow. Right? So what I'm going to do is buildings, streets. I'm going to create a wee bypass. Whoa, that's huge. That is huge. Right, have it go down. Where do you tunnel? Tunnel there. Really? Yeah, I think it will actually. There we go. Right, about a tunnel. Tunnel about there. And then you're going to go sort of straight ish. And then you're going to come out at that side. There we go. Out of sight, out of mind. Now I don't know if anyone will use that. Let's have a look. Let's spend like hours. This guy, this guy is trying to go to the west. He's trying to go to a residential building in, drumroll. Edinburgh. So that's good. He can now bypass the complete madness that is Glasgow and he can get there. So yeah, bypass lines are a uh, bypasses are good. Very nice. I wonder if my bus routes will actually take to this as well. There's my little SPT train. That's fine. I'm going to push pause and we're going to get a few more. Right, so probably take a bus from here. And then head up. Now, can I actually? I can actually head up to Oban and Fort William. And we can use this sort of bus stop here. National Express Highland. So that's okay because people are trying to use the bus to go over there, which is totally fine. So if I do a route one, right? And then go down here, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's actually this color for inner city bus routes. And this will be National Express. Press glass to Fort W. Right, where is my depot? And here, I'm pretty sure it's an underground car park, like the one I just built in here. No idea where it. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's, not, it's a garage. Glasgow Road Depot. Right, what other buses can we use? here I think I'm just gonna start using things like this but make them like sort of these ones have got National Express livery and they're pretty good uh, this one has like Euro lines right what I'm gonna do is buy one of them set you on National Express Glasgow Fort William right I then need to change that line up and add ITCB to the end of it. ITCB. Right, I don't know where that bus currently is. Who the hell knows. Uh, right, go around this way. I want to get another bus stop in Oban. Possibly in the centre. I mean, this is pretty central ish so we'll just use that right that's fine go from there I mean it does go to the same place as the train but other people the people in this game do you use 
different means of transport. Uh, right, line one, this will be, we'll, we'll actually call this Euro lines. Euro lines, glass to Oban, I, T, C, B, inner city bus, excellent. Uh, go in here once more, change that up to that, and then I want to go over here and buy up one of those Euro lines. I don't know where Euro lines operate, but we're going to use it. <laughs> right, so off it goes. Now, another route from, well, there's a few routes from Glasgow, right? I might have one that just goes, perhaps maybe directly up to Aviemore and up and sort of bypasses Perth. Or should I just have it go through Perth? Maybe having it go through Perth is probably a better idea. And then have it go up to Aviemore and then Inverness. And there's going to have to be one that goes from Aberdeen, Dundee, Perth, and then out to Glasgow. Okay. Uh, but let's check the Euro lines. I think these are the two buses here. Oh, that's something else. What are you? National Express, Glasgow, or Fort William. There we go. This bus ain't too fancy, or it doesn't look too fancy, probably is, in real life. The Mercedes, we've got a couple of man buses, and then we'll just use different buses as we sort of, sort of go along. Alright, I want to see what it actually does going in here. Right, you drove through the, the solid white lines, which I'm pretty sure is wrong, and then you head down into here, or something happens. There's the Airbus. I can't see this bus. Where are you? Ah, oh, there's an underground section. Excellent. It's like a proper bus depot. Okay, crap ton of people. Roy Davis, Hannah, Florence, Esme, Georgia. Ooh, the double decker bus maybe shouldn't be going underground. It's actually the perfect height. It looks just fine. Right, here's the Eurolines bus coming through as well. There's this bus, two of 18 already for Fort William. Uh, yes, this one goes up and then down. So which ones actually use the top section? Obviously not this one. Does anyone use the top section? Everyone goes underground. Does no one come up to the top? Maybe whoever the hell this is might do executive buses. Right, this one is driving past. So does it drive past and then go in? It does. So I think these ones go up the top. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. Ooh, Jesus. That was... Some wild drifting going on there. There we go, stop in there, pick up them. Bus is clipping through the wall at the bottom. That's okay. Sweet. Euro lines, anyone? Any takers? Zero of 18, perfect. So you've got a free bus, my friend, so feel free to drive uh, as fast as you want. Literally. Well, if you get past this first bus. Yeah, so it has to go this way. And then turn right and it can it can escape the city. It's quite nice having these, these buses to follow the, the different liveries and stuff. There's the airport in the distance. No sign of the SBT train. It will be there somewhere. Right, so this thing is almost out of the city. Which is nice. It looks like this is French. Or Europe. Does it say at the bottom? 
I zoom in again. Uh, the Europe uh, Votre Porte. I think that's French. What does it say in the back? Can't read that letter. Without heading up over the bridge. No sign of the train. Which is unfortunate. There was a train right there. So there is a train at the other side here. This bridge needs dealt with, one would imagine. Yeah, I like this. A little interesting ride on the on the bus. I think I'll do the other inner city buses offline. We'll go and check on our SPT train and air and see how it's getting on. And I want to check on the Trans Benign train as well. I maybe actually will do the inner city bus from Edinburgh uh, via Berwick upon Tweed to uh, what's it called to Newcastle. Anyone in here? 19. That's pretty decent. What do you have on board? Two. A couple of people. Oh, so you were there. Couldn't find you, train. You eluded me. However, yeah, this is really nice. There we go. Class 150 2. I mean, I'm sure there were 156s and 158s. I'd maybe have to go further back in time to bring them back. Especially the ones with this uh, SPT rail livery. But we shall end it there for that episode. Uh, as always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit the subscribe button. I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever 2 on the UK map, and I will catch us later.